gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. People dying, kill me in the packing house. Even you. Hello. I am on stage. Uh, so, uh, hey, everybody, welcome. I am Macaulay Culkin. I know, right? So, um, yeah, listen, this is actually the first time I've actually done something like this. Like a, it's a live podcast. So I really don't know what to say. I should have probably prepared something. I'm feeling kind of stupid right now. Uh, but um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a guest and we're going to talk. And, you know, it's one of those things where it's just a regular conversation. And, you know, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's like the cooties, but like with no music and <laughs> less clever, I guess. Uh, um, so uh, um, listen, I, I have a really, really special, amazing guest right now for you guys. Uh, this is actually like a really kind of, for me it's a big deal. So it should be a big deal for you guys. Um, it's, uh, I'm actually gonna bring him out right now. I can see him right here. He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. It's Mr. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> right? Whee! Talk about nostalgia. <laughs> Right? Am I right? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. This is, a lot. This is so crazy. You know, I, I listened to a few of your podcasts, and I thought, the audiences on those podcasts are so quiet. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel a little more enthusiasm. I like, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it, it's you. It's you. We need, oh, we, need, we need more Weird Al. Good to know. Yes, yes. Um, so, uh, you guys ever uh, listen to the Bunny Ears podcast at all? Any, any, any fans? Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> You're the ones. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, gonna pump our numbers up a little bit. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, um, Mr. Al. Yes. Can I call you, Mister? You, you may. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, okay, we actually have a funny history together. So it was probably what? It was 1990. Or something. Okay, or so. let's go with that. And uh, I, in an interview, when I was like 10 years old, I'm promoting one of those Home Alones or something like that. Uh, they asked me if there was any movies that I loved. And I said, I went to bat for you. I know. <laughs> I said, UHF. I go, yeah. I said, that movie. So, yeah. And, uh, well, uh, let me stop you right there and tell you uh, that meant so much to me at the time because that was shortly after the movie had come out and bombed in a major, major way. Yeah, and that you, was... you, you, you bankrupt Orion Pictures. Basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, but you know, Macaulay Culkin likes it. That was yeah. like... No, and, you was sent, big... and you sent me a signed poster. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. No, I, I was all of a sudden in the mail. I have a signed poster from, uh, of UHF from Mr. Weird Al Yankovic. You know, yeah. And so, uh, didn't never had met, and then we met at uh, Mr. Seth Green's house. That's our mutual friend, yes. Uh, hey, Seth Green, uh, where are you? Over here. Hi, Seth. Hey, wave. Hi. Yeah, he's here. So we were at a game night at his place, and you were there, and yep. you said, I sent you, and I went, a poster. <laughs> <laughs> we finished each other's sentences. I know, and exactly. <laughs> it's just like we're old friends. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we got kind of go way back. Actually, the last time I saw you was at Seth's wedding. That's right. What, yes. nine, nine years ago? That was nine years ago. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. We're all, <laughs> just we're old now. <laughs> I think this is officially the most we've ever talked together, though, before. Honestly, yes. <laughs> we were hanging out backstage. I was about to ask him some questions. I go, nope, save it for the podcast. <laughs> just save it, save it, save it. This is gold now. It's yeah, this gold. Is, this, is all, this is all gold right here. This is like a, nailing it. <laughs> so, uh, um, speaking of UHF, um, Victoria Jackson's in that. Yep. What do you feel about her politics? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> uh, Michael Richards is also in that. Do you speak to him?
Okay. No, I guess I guess we'll just drop it. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. Uh, everybody that was in that movie is either dead or clinically insane. Yeah. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Except for you, though. Uh, yeah. I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little, a little soft yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you were in a Hawaiian shirt. Listen, I've actually. That was been, for you. Honestly, I've been rocking a lot of Hawaiian shirts lately, and yeah. they're, they're amazing. Guys, highly recommended. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm turning that corner at 40, and I'm like, yeah. I'm, Hawaiian I'm shirt doing, time. I'm doing Hawaiian shirts now. You're segueing into it, yeah, I can yeah, tell. Yeah, going for it. Now, I heard it was on your writer. It was like when you were touring, oh, they yeah. would have to give you a Hawaiian shirt. Back in the day. We haven't done that lately, but in the 80s. Well, I know. I, I heard that they stopped doing it, or you requested they stopped doing it because you had just too many. Yeah, because I got like 700 Hawaiian shirts after. That, that, like, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. How many Hawaiian shirts do you have? I don't know how many. I know, I know that we donated literally five or 600 to Goodwill a couple of years ago. To Google? To go- Goodwill. Oh, okay. <laughs> Google could probably use them, though. <laughs> I should have given them to Google. What was I thinking? <laughs> Google really needs those Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> Hawaiian shirt Fridays at Google. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you still have an extensive collection, though? I do. I've, I've got some at home. I've got so many storage lockers somewhere. <laughs> storage lockers. In greater <laughs> Los Angeles. Uh, it's good to be Weird Al. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, uh, what is it about the Hawaiian shirts? I don't know. I, I've, I've always just liked garish clothing, you know, yes. stuff that glows in the dark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I know, cause they're, comfort- they're comfortable and they're breathable. Again, I can't emphasize this enough, audience. Hawaiian shirts. For real. Yeah. Um, it's, for, it's, it's when you've given up. Yes. Wear yes. the Hawaiian yes. shirt. Yes, thank and you. I, I gave up early in life. I'm in a thing. stable relationship, and I'm like, cool, Hawaiian shirts from now on. <laughs> I'm not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> so, um, so uh, uh, you know, you direct a lot of your music videos, correct? I direct a lot of my music videos? You direct Oh, I direct of, them. You direct a lot of your music videos, correct? Yes, I do. Yes, yes. So, uh, um, uh, let's say, like, tacky. Okay. Like, you know, that one had uh, Margaret Cho in it. And yep. So why didn't you invite me? <laughs> um, I didn't have your uh, contact information. Oh, dang. All now right. I do, though. I got your email address backstage for the next it's video. True. It's true. You know, yeah. So <laughs> ne- ne- now next, I'll know. next tacky video. Yeah. <laughs> you can invite me. Tacky 2.0. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that sounds good. And also, you do a lot of, uh, um, not just your own videos, you do, like, Hanson. I did one handsome video, yeah. Just back, one? Back in the day, just I, one. I, oh, I, oh, I thought it was more than one. But no, we've been friends for many years. Uh, I, I directed a video for them. Uh, Taylor Hansen played a piano on one of my tracks. He's pretty. Uh, they, they were, they, <laughs> he is. He is, no, he's gorgeous. He is. Yeah. And they were guests on uh, my Saturday morning Weird Al show back in the day. Oh, goodness, yeah. Because you actually also had a cartoon or, or a Saturday morning like show. Yeah. Didn't the, you? Like, yeah, uh, the, yeah, the Weird Al show on CBS, which had a glorious 13 episodes. <laughs> I, I had, my, my cartoon had 13 episodes. Oh, really? So, yeah, I know. We have so much in common. Nice. I know. Well, I mean, they were just handing out like, you know, TV shows, uh, you know, Saturday morning shows. Like, I think Rosie O'Donnell had one. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there were certain things that came out of it, like Camp Candy, which is really good. Uh, uh, Bobby's World, you know, yeah. But then there was also yeah, like, nice. the Rosie O'Donnell one. You know, yeah. there was the Wish Kid, you know, the Macaulay Culkin one. You know, yeah. So uh, was that yeah. a real thing, the Rosie O'Donnell thing? I think she actually did wow. have a Saturday morning cartoon show. Nice. Well, yeah, yeah. Google it. I, I will <laughs> get my shirts back while I'm at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm looking. At, I'm looking at some stuff. Oh, so you're a huge fan of uh, uh, <laughs> Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Is that what it says over there? That's, on your what, that's, what, that's what it says. I'm, I'm, oh. look, I'm looking at my thing. Uh, yeah. And is that why you learned to play the accordion? When I, no, I started my accordion lessons a few years before that. Uh, but when I was 12, 13, something like that, uh, I, uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road was the first album I bought with my own money. And I kind of learned how to play rock and roll on the accordion by trying to ch- uh, you know, figure out the chord progressions on all the songs. Uh, and it was kind of You'd play things that you like, heard. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, so I'd listen and I'd, I'd write out the charts and I got to the point where I could play along with the entire album. Um, oh. And on the, la- on the last tour, I, I played actually several cuts from that album as part of the, uh, the Vanity Tour. We did a bunch of cover songs over the course of uh, 77 shows and, and there were a couple, uh, couple tracks from that. Oh, so it's, I, I, guess, I guess that's a natural transition into the parody stuff where it's actually you learn the music and then you just apply new words to it. Like, yeah. another, you know, uh, another one rides the bus, you know, things like that. You know, yeah. <laughs> Because that sounds just like the Queen song, right? Yes, it does. It does. Well, I mean, I've, I've seen you on Letterman doing that. 
Look yes. At, did you? Yes. I've never been on Letterman, so tell me about this. No, no, no it, was, it was Letterman, wasn't it? Another one rides the bus? Oh, you think it was Tom Snyder. Tom Snyder, right? Maybe it was Tom yeah. Snyder, yeah, yeah, where he was looking at, like, you had, you had a person playing the uh, suitcase. That was that, my drummer, He was John literally Schwartz. playing a suitcase. He was, yeah. The drummer was just bopping a suitcase. That, that was how I met him, actually, uh, John Bermuda Schwartz, <laughs> who is my drummer to this day. But back in uh, 1980, uh, he was at the Dr. Mano show, and I was about to play Another One Rides the Bus for the first time. And I said, does anybody want to bang on my accordion case for percussion? He said, well, I'm a drummer. I can do it. <laughs> and that was his first gig with me. And he's been with me for 30, almost 40 years now. I've been now. drumming ever since. Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. And you got your start with uh, uh, Dr. Demento. Yeah, right? yeah. Yes. Because he, uh, that was back in the days before YouTube. And that was the only place in the universe where uh, my kind of songs would get played. Because, you know, uh, nobody wanted to uh, add those kind of songs to a uh, radio station yeah. playlist. I, I, or... I, I Miss wasn't playing it. Like, no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but because Dr. Mano was playing it and it was a hit on his show, it would get bootlegged. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so my songs went Passing viral. Yeah. yeah, my yeah. songs sort of went viral in the days before things went viral, and uh, other disc jockeys were recording songs off the Demento show. Uh, I was still in college at the time. This was my senior year in college, and I'd come home from classes in my room. I would say, you've got, you've got a message from New Zealand. They want to know how they can get a copy of another one rides the bus. So it was, it was getting out there, mm -hmm. you know, in its own way. It was natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was viral. It was viral. Yeah, yeah. Um, I heard, I just heard this actually this morning. You turned with the monkeys. I did. That's awesome. I did. That was 87, I you, say. You and Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, yes. we were, t you yeah. know, a yeah. super group. Boom, right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like their weird revival when they were doing, like, their, like they started airing the monkeys on MTV a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah so I, I wasn't the first reunion tour. I was the second reunion tour after the bloom was off the rose a little bit. People, <laughs> the, the thing I remember, well, a lot of things I remember, but one thing was, um, you know, they're getting, the reruns are getting played on Nickelodeon uh, constantly, and they had a whole new fan base of, of you know kids that were just discovering the monkeys mm -hmm. not knowing that they were a band from the 60s mm -hmm. so yeah. it was it was you know a, a lot like, of oh, I see David Jones like oh right he's oh, old well, now kind of like kind of like that like a lot of young kids showed up at the show and like where are the monkeys are a bunch of old guys on stage people, people do that to me all the time really like, yeah, like the parents are like pushing their kids up to me and they're like that's a kid from home no. I'm like no that's a, <laughs> that's a smelly adult <laughs> <laughs> like, he's like, right he smells like cigarettes yeah he smells like how my aunt patty like looks <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, that, that passage of time, man. Yeah, I know, boy. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. So, uh, <laughs> actually, don't. Okay, <laughs> don't I won't, tell I me won't. about it. Um, okay, you might be wondering what this is. I was wondering. Okay, so again, UHF. I'm going to circle back around. Oh no, I, I kind of I. You know where I'm going. I think I already do. <laughs> so, uh, um, you guys have watched UHF, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, all five of you. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, um, like, I know you're a vegan now. Yeah. So I made a vegan Twinkie Wiener sandwich. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. And, Thanks, Mac. And I made a real meat one for myself because <laughs> I'm no longer a vegan. Now, are you willing to eat this with me? I will have a bite. Okay, because I, I, I have Whiz. <laughs> let, me, let me check my bag. I'm looking for Whiz. Uh, cheese Whiz. There we go. So, which, so yeah. okay, which one's which? This is, this is the vegan one. I, I, believe okay. me, I prepared okay. them myself. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good job. Yeah, I, did, uh, I used, um, I used uh, styrofoam and everything. Like, <laughs> and Lovely. Yeah. This, honestly, I've actually, am both looking forward to this and completely dreading this. I am mostly just dreading it. So, do you know what a chunky weenie weeder sandwich is, guys? So, it is a hot dog sliced into a Twinkie. With cheese whiz on top of it. Any kind of spray cheese, really. Yes. So, um, yeah, any spray cheese. Okay. So, here, uh, I know. I'm, right. I'm honestly, yes, thank you. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. I, they're not even, it's not even warmed up either. Oh. Mm. Actually, not bad. It's not as awful as you'd think. Oh, my God. It's not as awful as you'd think. I know. How's your vegan? Having man? fed that, not great. <laughs> Yeah, does anyone want to finish mine? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, because I, I just saw this here and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I made, <laughs> I, I, I made Twinkie Wiener sandwiches for me and Weird Al. <laughs> uh, that might be the first one I've had in about 20 years. Oh. We, we, I ate, I think, seven during the, uh, the making of the movie. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, seven takes? Yeah. 
Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness. Actually, mm, I'm still chewing on my Twinkie Wiener <laughs> sandwich. Um, so, actually, I rewatched uh, UHF about two and a half times in the last 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, to prepare myself for, for, for this. <laughs> and at two in the morning, I, like, I text my buddy. I'm like, hot dogs, Twinkies, cheese whiz. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> and so here we are. And here we are. So The magic is happening. So I, I hear you're not a drinker. Not so much. Good, good, because I got you a bottle of champagne. Okay, thank you. Just, just, thank just you. so, uh, yeah, you, you can re-gift it to uh, right. whoever you want. Am I supposed to drink all of this now? No, no, no. It's just, well, we wanted to give you a gift, and then we got it for you, then I heard you're not a drinker, and I was like, you know, I'm going to give it to him anyway. I'm going I'm I'm to give you food you can't eat and things you can't drink. Like, yeah, it's great. Well, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep yeah. this right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm going to stay there. <laughs> Um, I didn't know gonna, there were prizes involved and gifts. Yeah, no, just just stuff. Wow. Just, yeah, just like things, things. And well, this is cool. Things and stuff and stuff. You know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what are your some of your favorite bands? Like, because I know your favorite fans. Bands. Oh, bands. Bands. Sorry. Um, uh, I like Slurred the coo- I like the cooties. I didn't know they're going to be playing here tonight. Right? Honestly, I mean, give it up for the cooties, right? Who knew? Who knew? I did. <laughs> but no, they were fantastic, right? They were really funny. You know? yeah. So, yeah. Um, mostly just them. <laughs> just, uh, oh, just the cooties. <laughs> Great. Is, is that what you listened to growing up? Yeah, <laughs> pretty <it>? much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but seriously, like, no. Like, um, you what, know, like, I, what, I, what, what were you into? Like, I mean, were you more into rock? Were you into disco? Yeah, well, not so much. When disco was happening, I was into new wave. So at that point in the late 70s, I was, I was into like Talking Heads and B-52s and Devo yeah. and Oingo Boingo and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of right. garage That's bands in the 90s. And I, I tend to gravitate toward bands that have a bit of a sense of humor, a little, you know, a little odd, a little alternative, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, so... Um, yeah, so it was like, yeah, just kind of the, the, the alt kind of thing. The alt stuff, the, yeah. The alt stuff. Um, here, I'm actually, uh, I'm going to look up some other things. Okay, good. Yeah, no. Maybe we'll both learn something. Look at this. I heard you've been refused by Prince, Zeppelin, and McCartney to, uh, to parody various songs. Uh, Prince, uh, uh, several times. Yeah, he never let me do anything. <laughs> he kept asking. <laughs> yeah, no, because we thought, you know, maybe he'll develop a sense of humor, and it didn't really happen. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then Led Zeppelin, uh, there was one time, I, I heard that uh, Jimmy Page was a fan because he, uh, he called, somebody uh, from his, his office called our office asking for videos or something like that. Oh, Jimmy Page is a fan. And I thought, hey, maybe he'll, he'd like a, uh, a Led Zeppelin polka medley. And we got the word back, no, not so much. <laughs> uh, but then we, uh, we were able to re-record uh, a bit of Black Dog. There's a song called uh, uh, Trapped in the Drive-Thru. And there's a bit of it where the band is playing Led Zeppelin's Black Dog. And apparently Led Zeppelin has never allowed this before, but they let us like recreate Black Dog. So that was, that was kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And that was McCartney. I, I, it, and it pains me that McCartney is on that list because right? I'm such a huge Beatles fan, big Obviously, McCartney yeah. fan. And he had a great sense of humor. Um, it's, I've told this story a million times, but basically I want, uh, Guns N' Roses had just had a big hit with Live and Let Die, and I wanted to do a parody, uh, of course, Chicken Pot Pie. Yeah, there, um, there it is. <laughs> and and, uh, and I, I had to get permission from Paul McCartney because he wrote the original song. And uh, the, the story was that he felt bad, but he turned me down because he said, look, I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Uh, Linda and I are strong vegetarians, and we, I, I can't condone a parody song that condones the eating of animal wow, flesh. Wow, really? That's yeah. it? That was, that was the, that was the yeah, deal breaker? Yeah, which, I mean, and, you know... And I, I've worked with, I, I can say that I've directed Paul McCartney because he did a little bit part in a 3D movie that I made a few years after that. And a great sport and a great sense of humor is just that one thing. That one thing. And people are like, oh, Paul, Paul hates you. Like, no, no, it's just like one little well, thing. Well, because you're a vegetarian also. You're yeah. vegan. Like, yeah. So, like, yeah. Like, but no, still. Like, he. No. You, know, you see, he, I, see I, can, I, can st- I can still sing my bologna and not mean it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know? Exactly. <laughs> it's a character, character piece. <laughs> and, um,. And listen, you play a lot of polka and things like yeah, that. Yeah, there was, there was a, a polka on virtually every album. I, I, I did it on my, on my first few albums, and then I, I left it off of an album, and there was, there, it was basically rioting in the streets. There was, <laughs> people were very disappointed, and I said, okay, i gotta got to so, give people their polka fix. So you, you play polka. Do you like polka music? 
Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I can't say that I listen to it in my car when I'm driving around. Yeah, I was going to say, exactly. I, I like, how into it are you? I appreciate all genres. Man, my, <laughs> my polka music isn't... You're I mean, a it, politician. Good. Yeah, Good. My, well, Give it, it to me. It's, it's the, when I do polka, it's sort of a combination of, of traditional polka music and Spike Jones because it's, it's a lot <laughs> wackier than, you know, what, what you'd hear at Oktoberfest. So I add the, add the bells and whistles and sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So um, I remember actually, like, I was thinking about reaching out to you because I was in a comedy parody band. Uh, we were in the Pizza, Pizza Underground. The Pizza Underground. Yes, you heard of it? Oh, you know, you that, that, it? that's yeah. the other band that I should say, the Cooties and Pizza Underground. There we go. Yeah, my two favorite bands. No, there we go. It, it took you. It took you long enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, when we started like doing some uh, recording things like that, I wanted to reach out to you. I'm like, well, you're the Godfather. You're the, you know, yeah. And look, I mean, we rhymed mushrooms with mushrooms. You can't do that. You yeah. can't do that. No, I mean, no, we can. We did. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, yeah, like it was definitely not on the, the same level. <laughs> but yes, I remember thinking, I was like, I should reach out to the Godfather for this. Because I know all sorts of rhymes with mushrooms. Yes, yes. Go on. <laughs> for your next album, I'll help you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just, wanted to, just wanted to make sure, make sure. You know what I mean? so, uh, so, Victoria Jackson. <laughs> Did she ask about me? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to ask your opinion about something really controversial. So that <laughs> the Empire actor, right? Yeah. How do you feel about that situation? No, no. No, actually, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase. How do you pronounce his name? Is it Jussie or Juicy? <laughs> I say Is juicy. It Sm- Smollett or Smollett? I say juicy Smollett. Juicy Smollett. Yeah. Okay, good, good. I, just, I, I, I wanted to get controversial for a second and just wanted to see how Is you Is that the question? About, oh, yeah, good. That, yeah, yeah. Woo! I wanted to feel how you, see how you felt about that, that, that wow. whole uh, that empire <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, juicy. Uh, yeah, oh, juicy. <laughs> juicy, juicy, juicy. That wacky guy. <laughs> so, um,. What's the least favorite song that you've covered? That I've covered? Yeah, yeah. That you've done a parody of, rather. Um, well, no, no uh, reflection on the original song or the artist, but uh, the, the only parody that I did under duress was my uh, Cindy Lauper parody. Because my, my first album didn't sell that well and nobody cared. My second album was a big hit because I had Eat It on it. And my third album, my record label all of a sudden, like, oh, now that people care, we're going to get involved creatively. And they said, you got to have a Cindy Lauper parody on this album. you got to have that Lauper. Yeah, and I was like, well, you know, I've got a Madonna parody. That should, no, 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 you got to do Cindy Lauper. And they said, we're not going to put out your album unless you have a Cindy Lauper parody on it. So I did... Uh, what, uh, well, which one is that one? It, it was a parody of uh, uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. And uh, I did Girls Just Want to Have Lunch. <laughs> which was... Nailed it. Which is a, which is a horrible <laughs> which is a horrible idea and <laughs> yeah I was gonna say and okay. you can you can hear it uh, in my performance of the song that I'm doing it against my will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you don't play it live? Uh, I don't think we ever have no. Because <laughs> you, you tour, like how 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 many dates do you do a year? It, well, I mean it varies from from year to year. Last year we did our our the the, the ridiculously self indulgent ill advised vanity tour. Wow, <laughs> which uh, which was a lot of fun. We, oh, that sounds amazing. Because normally we do a big production with like you know costumes and props and you know bells and whistles and big screens. And last year we did a tour, seventy seven dates last year, where it was literally just the band walking out on stage and sitting down on stools and playing our instruments. Like no click tracks, no pre recorded anything, no screens, no videos. It was just guys just playing. Raw, it was raw, so boring. It was just. <laughs> No, it, it was great for us, awesome. and, the, and, and the, uh, the fans had a great time, but it was, it was geared more for the hardcore fans because we weren't playing the hits. We were playing like, the deep cuts and stuff like that, so stuff that you'd never hear us play like in 30 years, we, we crammed into that tour. And this, this year, we're doing the uh, Strings Attached tour, so we, we're going from our... Uh, <laughs> no, Go we, on. We're, we're going from our, our least uh, impressive show to our biggest, uh, most extravagant show. We're doing every single uh, date on this tour with a full symphony orchestra. 
<laughs> well, for like real. how many pieces? Yeah. Like, you know. uh, it's going to vary. We, we don't travel with the orchestra, but it's going to vary between 41 and 85 pieces Jeez. every night. <laughs> so we're, we're doing the Greek Wait, theater. So he's, I was going to say, it's going to be like different cities. You're going to get the, the local orchestras? Yeah. yeah. And some of them are, are, are branded. They're like, you know, and some of them are just like, we're picking up, you know, whatever local uh, union guys are we're putting together our, our orchestras. That's amazing. How many dates is that? Uh, we're like 65, 66, something oh, like geez. that. Is yeah. Really, that many people play the violin? Well, apparently, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, from, from the moment that I, I announced I was doing this particular tour, my emails and DMs were filled with people going, you know, my cousin plays the viola. <laughs> uh, maybe give him a call. Like, no, we, we're, we're on top of it. We're, we're viola good. cousin. It's in your phone. Yeah. Viola cousin. Hello, and welcome to the first ever video edition of Meditation Minute. As always, I'm your guide, Louis Prada. Meeting face to face is always joyous, except this time. I've long intended to keep Meditation Minute unsullied by advertisers. Well, I'm broke now, and I can't offer these meditations for free anymore. But I understand that many listeners of Cully Culkin's podcast have come to rely on these meditations. I've even heard there's something of a cash cow for you, McCulley, and maybe the only thing propping up this whole ridiculous bunny ears enterprise. So, McCulley, I propose a compromise. I will continue releasing guided meditations for free, but certain features will be held behind a $5.99 a month paywall. If that's unreasonable, McCulley, you can start paying me a living wage, literally any time you'd like. Anyway, enough bad news. Let's skinny dip into the pools of serenity together. I want you all in the audience to take a big, deep breath in with me. Ready? And hold it, because exhaling is $5.99 a month. PayPal is accepted. Daddy needs that cheddar, and Uncle McCully is a little bit stingy. Now, imagine yourself overlooking a beautiful lake. You see something in the distance obscured by fog. As the fog breaks, you realize you've been looking at the most beautiful, calming thing you've ever seen. Go ahead, audience, shout it out. What beautiful thing did you see? Hmm, yes, yes, it's there, it's all there. All the things you shouted are there. You assume, because they're all behind the paywall. You can hear them, but you can't see them. But for $5.99 a month, you'll be able to see the thing that I told you to imagine is there. Now, return to your breathing. Don't worry, focusing on your breathing is included in all subscription levels. But if your mind wanders to something else, that's also behind the paywall. It's a waste of my time, and my time is cash money. I may be a man of peace and serenity, but I'm tired of taking the fucking bus everywhere, McCully. I hope this guided meditation has brought you the serenity you seek. My name is Louis Prada, and this has been Meditation Minute. And remember, applause is free, but booing is behind the paywall. Namaste. Is there anything you're like, uh, sick of playing? Um, uh... Like, you know, like fat. You know, eat it. You know, any of those? Like, you're kind of just like, eh, all right, I'm done. I'm... Do you think I should not play those on this tour? No, I think they're I think they're badass. <laughs> like, no, I was just naming your catalog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. just okay. let you know that I'm familiar okay. with your catalog, okay. sir. Um, well, you know, I I, tr I try to give songs a rest every now and then, like even big hits. Uh, yeah. I, I try not to do them every single tour. So there are some sh songs which may, you know, just be put on the shelf for a while. But we we tend to bring but them. There's back nothing that you're like sick of. Bes no. Besides Cindy Lauper. <laughs> Girls just want to have lunch. No, I know. I mean, no, not not really. I mean, I, I will say one of the one of the reasons they did that whole like um, self indulgent vanity tour was on the previous tour, which was the mandatory fun world tour. Uh, I, I remember near the end of that, uh, it was like that was like over a hundred dates, and near the end of it, I remember I was putting on my fat suit for the thousandth time, and I thought. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do this on the next tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that was the whole thing. Like, let's, let's scale it back scale a little, it back bit. A little yeah. bit. Okay. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, what song are you most proud of? Hmm. 
Hmm. Um, it, it'd probably be one of the original songs. Like half of my oeuvre, oeuvre. is, uh, is uh, original songs. A lot of those are pastiches and style parodies. But, um, you know, there, there are some songs. There's a song on the last album called Jackson Park Express, which is a nine-minute long weird song about a guy with, who fantasizes having a relationship with a woman on a bus. Uh, and it's, there's not much more to it than that, but it's very weird and creepy and, uh, you know, inappropriate. Nice. <laughs> All right. I remember it was, it was uh, Poke Power or whatever. I uh-huh. think that's, that's the one that, like, yeah, like, I, I still get it stuck in my head. Like, I, like I woke up this morning with that in my head. Where, oh, really? Like, like, you went over all the songs of that year and just straight up in, on, on an accordion. Oh, on the, the, the medley, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's why I was asking about polka music, because I'm like, you're obviously really, really good at it, but, you know, you just don't even like it. Well, it's fun to do the polka <laughs> medleys, because for people that don't really follow pop culture, it's sort of like your cliff notes of, like, oh, what was big in music for the last two years? And you can <laughs> to the polka medley, oh, you're up to speed. <laughs> Nail it. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Dare to be Stupid is one of those songs that, like, gets stuck in my head. Like, a lot. Like, yeah. I'm sorry. I know. I know. It's amazing. Because it, it's very Devo. It's very but much... That's, that's on purpose. That yeah, was the of, intent. Of, of course yeah. it is. Yeah. But it was on the Transformers soundtrack. That's, oh, there's an interesting story about that. My, good, my, good rec- my record label said, hey, we're going to put your song on the Transformers soundtrack. <laughs> cool. Let me just look up the next question. <laughs> right. Um... Uh, uh, already did the Hawaiian shirts. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite Hawaiian shirt? Uh, this one. I work oh, yeah. for you. What's your weirdest one? What's actually the craziest one you've gotten? Um, gosh, yeah, there were some. There's some. I don't wear these anymore. Uh, some of the ones in storage are like the ones that have sequins sewn through them. Uh, Ooh. I, I did a uh, I did Ooh. a home video called The Some Complete Sexy. Owl like in 1985 and there was a whole thing about uh, going through my closets and we made sure that those shirts were extra flashy and flamboyant so there's some <laughs> some Hawaiian shirts with like epaulets and the sequins and probably some neon you know glow in the dark stuff you get like neon you have neon like glow in the dark like, sh- like oh yeah oh, oh look at that <laughs> like mine's like I have pickles on mine like, yeah, yeah. It's like that, that's, that's well like, I do too it's about as classy as I get really <laughs> how flashy I get. Uh, um, wait, I just saw this. It's on my. It's on my list. You were in all three Naked Gun movies. That is true. You were? Yeah, I was. I was on the first one as myself, and I was on the third one as myself as Vanna White's date at the Oscars. <laughs> Go on. And in the second one, I play a, a an unnamed uh, uh, guy with a gun who uh, my. my my bit, my big line. I bust into a room with a gun and I say, "Okay, okay, pig, say your prayers." And then Leslie Nielsen like inadvertently knocks me out with the door. <laughs> so I, I think, yeah, I, I think I was holding O.J. Simpson at gunpoint. Ironically, I was just about to say, what was it like to work with O.J. Simpson? Well, I will tell you, um, he didn't kill anybody on the set. <laughs> that you know of, yes. So <laughs> he's, yeah. Who's to say? <laughs> Any more fun OJ stories? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. No, is that, is that That's the got? extent of my OJ yeah. contact. So, um, listen, you've done a lot of parodies of uh, uh, Michael Jackson, uh, 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 like stuff. Yes. Yeah, somebody knows that. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, you know, like, it was, what was, um, I'm going to ask you a very serious question. What was your relationship like with Michael Jackson? <laughs> Uh, mostly platonic. Uh, it was. It was. He was very. I, I met him two or three times. He was very sweet to me. Uh, um, <laughs> Go on. Uh, we, we we shared a Twiki Wiener sandwich, and uh, that was pretty uh-huh. much it. Uh, he sounds amazing. He sounds really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, I will say he was a huge, huge fan of yours. Uh, um, yes, he was. Uh, he always had your videos and things like that, like kind of playing constantly. Like, wow. You know, yeah, yeah. It was. Well, he, he told me he played UHF uh, in his home theater. Yes, yeah. yes. I think I was already there for that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But no, he uh, loved loved your videos. Like, yeah, he was a big fan. Like, yeah. Well, it's nice to hear. Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. <laughs> 
right? Validation. <laughs> Praise from Caesar. <laughs> um, uh, so you did UHF. Um, have you like thought about doing some more films? Should I? Yes. Okay. Well, I hadn't. I hadn't thought about it until just right now. But since you brought it up, I know uh, you're welcome. Can I, can I, can I uh, produce yeah, actually, a credit? Actually, I'm, I'm, um, I'm actually uh, pondering actually writing a movie right now with... Uh, I probably shouldn't mention any names. This, this is like before it's even being pitched. It's Jonathan Taylor Thomas? This is like just out of my brain. <laughs> no, uh, no we're, I, I'd love to do another movie, and that might actually be happening sometime in the next 10, 15 years. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. I mean, would it be like kind of a... Um, like an anthology kind I've of I've like said thing? too much already. Okay, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So that movie they were just talking about. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me really press. Let me really press. Um, if you could remake UHF, yes, would you? You know, uh, after it came out and uh, didn't do well, uh, every, every single night before going to sleep, I would spend a tortured couple hours going like, what should I have done differently? And I, I re-edited the movie hundreds of times in my head. Uh, and there, yeah, there are things I should never done. Yeah there, yeah, there, there are things, a million changes I would have made. Uh, probably starting with the title, which is not a great title. I mean, it, UHF even then was sort of an anachronism, and now it's like I don't think they even have UHF TV channels no, anymore. No. But at the it's, same time, when I'm scrolling through my like iTunes thing, like there's no U movies, so like it's pretty much just UHF. Is there. <laughs> that's, that's it. Well, there's that, that yeah, and Uncle yeah. Buck. And yeah, uh, oh, true. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, I don't. Wait, I don't own Uncle Buck. <laughs> Where's my phone? Yeah. <laughs> but I remember when, when it came out uh, and it, it, it tanked in the in the states, and then they're going to release it uh, uh, in Europe, and uh, they said we can't call it a. And I said, well, why don't you why don't you call it uh, the vidiot? Because that's a little plan words, and that would make more sense. And Man. people don't know what UHF means. And they said, well, we want to tie in with the failure from the United States, so we're going to call it the vidiot from UHF. Like, <laughs> well, that's the worst title I've heard in my life. That <laughs> <laughs> the vidiot from UHF. Yeah, no. that was that was what it was in parts of Europe. Yeah. Well, wow. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I know in France, Home Alone was Mama, I missed the plane. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so you know those overseas markets they uh, <laughs> nailed it <laughs> but you could do it like about like a struggling like YouTube channel or something like that you know, yeah. oh yeah ha 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 got him yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right you want me to keep pitching like, I, I, I can do it do it do it forever I could do Altube yes, yes. Altube yes there we Al- go Altube uh, um, what do you like because you've, I mean, how, how many shows do you do a year? Like live shows? Yes. It really varies. I mean, you know, when, when we're on the road, we're like on the road. We do five or six cities a week. Uh, you know, uh, the, the tw- sweet bus. Yeah, it's all, it's all bus. Uh, and we do three Is or four months bus? on a stretch. Yeah, it's a nice bus. Yeah, it's a, right, you, right, you're welcome on the bus. <laughs> all right, I'll um, hold you to that. But yeah, so and and we're we're not touring at all next year because we I found that if you tour for three years on a row, by the third year, people are like, haven't we seen you already? So I mean, everyone <laughs> hears each other's stories. Like that's the thing is that like, nobody's funny anymore after yeah. a while. Like the longer you're on tour, like, right. the more it's right. like, yeah, yeah, no, I heard that. So you that, have to you have to just walk away for for a while and then come yeah. back in yeah. a few years. Yeah. But like how like but like. Uh, like a normal year, like what would it be like a hundred shows, something like that. Some ish, yeah. I mean, like we did seventy-seven last year. We're sixty-five this year, and with the the last big tour, that was uh, forget how many dates, but yeah, um, yeah, the big tours are about a hundred dates. You can probably like count by your Hawaiian shirts how yeah. many how many how many gigs you've done. <laughs> well, that was just in the eighties. That was like that was for two two tours way back when. That was back when all the 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 rock stars were asking for like ridiculous things, like the whole you know Van Halen no. The green M and M's, right, 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 right. Green M and M's. So we figured, well, you know, I want to test my uh, pizza, oats. pizza Underground. We had uh, Beverly Hills Cop two poster for every show that you that did. That was ours, yes. And honestly, <laughs> most people actually like fulfilled it. Like I actually have, really? I have a file, like a, a filing cabinet of just full of Beverly Hills Cop two posters. Wow. Yeah. You know, it was. It, it worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, uh, so, what do you, is that going to be an art project? What do you do those? I don't, I don't know. Actually, somebody made a stencil too. Like, I have, a, I, have a, I have a three and a half by two and a half foot canvas of uh, just Axel Foley, just 
But wow. Yeah, it was. It's. It's. Uh, in a I'm word, jealous. In a word, it's dope. Ah. Yeah. That's the word I'd use. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, what's like? I mean, do you have any like? Because you're not like a hardcore rock and roll kind of thing. Like, but do you have any like, kind of like crazy stories from the road? Um, you know, I uh, sometimes like everybody on the whole bus is on their laptops. <laughs> oh, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Wikipedia or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're all surfing. All oh, surfing. Oh, just surf, straight, yeah. straight web surfing. Yep. All right. All right. It's, uh... Yeah. Uh, they like, you know, like, like talk to the loving wives and stuff? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, just, that's crazy. We're just a bunch of old people on a bus, you know. <laughs> wow. I'm, you know what? I'm in. I want... It sounds great. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, oh. I know, no, no, no. I'm uh, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. My brain went there. I was like, yeah, look, uh, yeah, I want to do that. I want to. Well, you can. I want, yeah, You're invited. Exactly. Yeah, I want to. Yeah, I want to be an old person on a bus. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, are, are you married? I am. Yeah. I look. See, yes. <laughs> yeah. Look. 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 No, sorry. I can show you pictures. I'm so surprised. Like, no, no. Yeah, I'll show you pictures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, how long have you been married for? Uh, so I got married in 2001, so if you're doing the math, that would be 18, 18 years, years yeah. or there so. You yep. Do you have uh, um, any, any children? I, I have procreated, yes. I Ooh. Have, I've got a 16-year-old daughter. Really? Yep. Uh, what, what's that like? Why do you not believe what I say? <laughs> no. <laughs> is, it all, is that so far-fetched? <laughs> what? <laughs> you procreated? <laughs> Um, no. Uh, um, Sprang from my loins. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Fruit of your juice. Um, wh- uh, what's it like to raise a daughter? Uh, I, I don't have anything to compare it against, uh, but I've enjoyed the whole process. Uh, she's been a wonderful uh, human the entire time I've known her, uh, which has been her whole, her whole life. But, I mean, she was, you know, we, we well, always... Wouldn't, always it be, wouldn't it be terrible if you have, like, a, just, like, an ugly, horrible child? Like, you know, like, you know, nobody ever says that about their own child. It's like, oh, they're just, they're ridiculously ugly and they're, they're terrible. They're, they're the new Hitler. Oh, you know, yeah, you know, no, I would say that if it were true. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, be, I'd be painfully honest. But no, she's been great ever since, I mean, you know, uh, we were, when she was born, uh, uh, a baby, people were like, oh, wait till she gets the tooth, the terrible twos. And she was sweet as a two-year-old. And no, it's, it's not really the terrible twos, it's the terrible threes. And she was great then, like, oh, wait till she's 13, then, oh, the hormones. And she's been really kind of cool and like an old hormones soul. hormones are good? Yeah. She's been just very, I mean, I don't know what we did, but, but she, she's turned out really well. And uh, um, so you're thinking about probably college and things like that with her? Like, oh, for you know? me? Oh, for her? Yeah, yeah. No, for you. <laughs> no, for her. Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, so she's, are you, are she's you in 10th grade. Is that Lori Laughlin kind of like group? <laughs> yeah. Topical. Getting the wallet out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the wallet out and stuff. You know? Yeah. We're, um, we're, is, is she, is she uh, smart? Is she sharp? She is. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I've I, been able to help her with the math homework. And I'm just at the point now where it's sort of like, I don't know if I can help you too much longer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. My algebra only goes so far. Right, like, right. You know? <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like, so you've just been ra- raising a kid. Making music, being married. This but is all surprising. Mostly. This is all yeah. shocking. That's yeah. uh, I can't believe you did a, this. A, a lot of that is, is like uh, <laughs> like touring and and uh, and doing the the home life thing. Yeah. Yeah. You you've changed your look also because you you get LASIK. Like 20 years ago, but thanks that's for noticing. I, yeah. No, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because I was just watching UHF and I'm like, oh wait, you used to wear glasses and yeah. now you don't. Yeah, so you got LASIK. I, I did, uh, like in 1998, and I can. It was it's nice to be able to like you know. See things, uh, yeah. And, and my eyes continue to change. I, I got these these glasses around my neck just because anything that's about 20 feet or so, it's a little fuzzy. So I the, so the I can still see, but it's an SD, not HD. Can I, can I see them on? Yeah, t- all these on? Yeah, yeah. See? Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> you look like everyone's really cool, Uncle. It's still a black void, but it's a much more clear black void now. <laughs> I know, yeah, you look like everyone's cool uncle. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. What can I say? Uh, um. Oh. Oh. All right, let me, let me go back to the list. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you want to... Uh, fuck. Sorry, I what, cursed. What, what can I help you with? 
No, I left my phone over there. Never mind. You're going to mine. Can I? Sure. Can I? Um, let's see. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? Sure. All right. <laughs> I have something in my bag. Let's see. What's in the bag? It's somewhere in here. Uh, here we go. It's a chess clock. You play chess? Uh, no. Good. We're not playing chess anyway. <laughs> All right. So we're going to play this game. It's called Clock Blockers. <laughs> <laughs> so here's how it works. All right. You know, it, it's a standard chess clock. So if I hit my button, your timer goes. Okay. And if you hit your button, my timer goes. Okay. Uh-huh. It's fairly straightforward. So we pick a category, something really, really vague. Uh, the broader, the better. Like, you know, like uh, animals. Okay. And then like, I'll say like, like a dog, and you can say cat, elephant. And we keep on going, and then whoever runs out of time first. Oh, the game that my daughter does is like you name an animal, but then the next animal has to start with the letter that's the last letter of the previous animal. Uh, I, know, I, know, I know that game. This is kind Di of the same, <laughs> but different. So just, uh, just literally any animal. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, okay. But also, the broader, the better. You'll see. It, it's kind of, you, you, your, your brain's going to fart. Okay, uh, uh, um. so I have like a minute and 30 seconds to think of an animal. Yes, exactly. We both have 90 seconds. Well, no, we'll, we'll pick a category. You, you, uh, anyone have a category? Something broad. What? Animals. Countries. Countries is countries. good. Countries. Yeah, just name, yeah. So you name a country, you hit that thing, and we'll get started. And we keep on naming countries until we run out of time. Okay. And you'll see, your brain's going to lock up really I, fast. I will say that, that the uh, geography, the, the blue square is the blue pie is my, my least favorite pie in Trivial Pursuit. Oh, really? All right. I'm, not, I'm not a great cool, enjoyer. I'm going to crush you then. I'm going to crush you in my own game. You're going to crush me. <laughs> all right. All okay. Right. Uh, oh, gosh, this is tough. Okay. The United States of America. France. You're good. I know, right? All right. Nailed it. Uh, Mexico. Uh, Spain. Canada. Uh, Australia. Mmm. Gosh. <laughs> Are there any others? <laughs> yeah, no, right? <laughs> Egypt. Uh, China. Uh, Japan. I was about to say that. Ah, oh, see? Vietnam. Uh, Indonesia. Uh, Russia. Okay. Uh, Norway. Uh, uh, Sweden. Finland. Uh, uh, the, the, this, oh, Germany. Did you say Germany already? No. Did we? No. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> New Zealand. Oh, I was going to say that one too. Uh, um, South Africa. Okay. Because uh, yeah, Africa itself is not a country. Yes, of course. Uh, Madagascar. Um, uh, Somalia. Zimbabwe. I was going to say that too. God, you were you, you, you doing that to me. Uh, uh, Brazil. Okay. Uh, Qatar. <laughs> uh, Chile. Uh, Sudan. Um, uh, the Democratic Re Republic of Congo. Uh, Brazil. <laughs> Uh, the Federated States of Micronesia. <laughs> I, I know, yeah, I know. I, I, but so, it's too late. I already hit. Uh, Portugal. Um, but, uh, d -d 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 Belgium. Okay. Um, Antarctica. That's not a country. It's not? Oh, that's a continent. Well, isn't it also a country or no? Okay, fine. I'll give it to you. I guess. <laughs> Gu Guatemala. <laughs> okay. Um, Panama. Oh, I uh, did it. Uh, um, Venezuela. Venezuela. Okay. Uh, do we do India? India. No, we haven't. Uh, okay. uh, Pakistan. That's where I got my jacket. Okay. Uh, uh, Cuba. Um, oh, see, I was going to say Puerto Rico, but that's not a country. It's a commonwealth. Ooh. I know, right? <laughs> Knowledge. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, 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 the Netherlands. Okay. Uh, Belgium. I already said it. Oh, well! Do I lose? No, no, you get to keep going. <laughs> your, your clock's going. You have, you have 16 seconds left. What? We need 16 Okay. Um, uh, See, right? It's, it's after a think. while, after yeah, a while. I, exactly. I can't remember what we've already said before. We should have a running list. Um, can I just lose? Yep. And <laughs> <lost>. time. <laughs> and time. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> That was a good game. That was a good game. I mean, I was sitting there going, I can't wait to see Belarus. Just, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it. I <laughs> got that one in the chamber right there. <laughs> so Antarctica is not a country. So is it, 
What, how does that work? Well, it, it, it's. I think it's been claimed by multiple countries is the oh. way it is. So, like, yeah, it, it's... If it was a pie, there'd be slices. And it'd be like I the United see. States, Russia. Okay, okay. I think Norway gets slice. Um, you know, even though cause it has nothing to do with Norway. So is, is Antarctica the only continent with no countries? Yeah, I think, I think it's valid. I think it's a wow. very valid argument of yours. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blowing my mind. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> so um, we talked about some of the uh, uh, acts that uh, you've been rejected by, like before. Why focus on the negative, Mac? <laughs> Why bring us down all well, this negativity? Oh, I'm just, I'm, I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to ask whether or not there was somebody that you kind of kept on going to. Well, Prince was the only one. Prince was the one that you kind of yeah. was multiple. Like, you know, and what, what, what were, like, like, did you have multiple ideas? Yeah, with, with there were like a half a dozen or so. There was like for 1999. I raspberry was bidet? <laughs> for 1999, it wouldn't have worked for oh, Raspberry okay, Bidet. No. no, I'm just uh, throwing that out there, though. Like, yeah. yeah. No, I was going to do like a, you know, like a late night infomercial thing. You can get this for just 1999. That kind of <laughs> go whole, go whole bit on that. And, uh, and there, I'm sure there was, uh, actually, actually, in UHF, since we're circling back to that, yeah. the, the whole set piece in the middle that, the, the, that is now the Dire Straits parody was originally supposed to do a, be a parody of Let's Go Crazy by Prince. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a whole, there was, it was all written, it was all ready to go, and this is after Prince had turned me, turned me down a few times for other things, and I was <laughs> like, come on, Prince, come on, come on, and he w wasn't into it. And you, yeah, you kept on, you, you kept at it and still yep. never got it. Yep. Have you tried now? I don't think I can get his permission now. I know, but still. You know. Well, you know, people have asked me that, and, you know, because I, I theoretically could, 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 could go to his estate, uh, but I, I pride myself on respecting the wishes of the original artist, and Prince made his wishes extremely clear. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to go back and try to get around that. <laughs> all right, all right, there you go. I mean, but, I mean, have you actually parodied dead people before, though? I mean, haven't you? Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. But the, the uh, difference I know, being, I know, I know, yeah. I, I know. Because um, yeah, you actually, because you did George Harrison when you were still alive, the, the six words yeah. long. And actually, you know Which that I, I, that one sticks with me also. Thank you. Yeah, um, song's just six words long. Yeah, I, I um, that that song was not actually written by George. That was a cover song that uh, George Harrison yes. did. So yeah. we didn't actually have to go to George Harrison to oh, get permission so, for that. Fuck that guy. <laughs> 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 I'm actually good friends with his son Danny now. So yeah, Danny's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, he, yeah. He's also the spitting image too. It's he crazy. Looks, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's, it's it's irksome even. Like yeah. he looks just like his father. I, I got to go to the uh, the George Harrison tribute a few years ago and do a do what is life uh, oh, with the, cool. with the orchestra and singers and it was amazing. It was so fun. They they did a whole um, I think it was like on Blu-ray or they they did a big special for that night. Yeah, I, I just uh, um, I had uh, Jen Candy on the podcast uh, recently. It was John Candy's kid. Uh, she's amazing. She's great. And also has the same eyes. Mm, wow. Same eyes and kind of like, not necessarily the spitting image, but you, you can see her father like in her. And it was yeah. like, yeah, it was, it was something. It was like, yeah, it's, you know, it's amazing when you have to see the kids of dead people, right? Yeah. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I met John Candy once. Uh, he was doing, doing the, the Schmengi Brothers bit. Uh, so he was in his leader hosing and all that, but <laughs> super cool guy. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. He was nice. Listen, like kids are really, really hard to work with, and he was very, very kind to like this schmucky kid. <laughs> so yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Nice. You ever work with kids? Me? Yeah. Uh, you yeah. like kids? You like kids? Uh, I <laughs> I like kids just fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, do, do, do you like working with kids? There, there, there was a, the, the kid in UHF that spit in my face. That was a lot of fun. I, I was actually just watching that scene, and like he could see he was having a hard time just not breaking. Oh, yeah. We used every single second, every single frame that we could before he completely lost he's, he's it. Like, he just spits in your face. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, wow. Well, okay. yeah. like, uh, I was like, I could have done that. <laughs> I know a guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there any kind of a, um, like modern band or something like that that you've been looking forward to like parodying, hmm. skewing? Hmm. 
I've, I've got thoughts. I've got random ideas that pop into my head. Yeah, yeah. But if, if Evan I, Levine pops into my head all the time. Do, really? Yeah, yeah. Just ever since that Super Bowl performance. You know, I've, like, got, yeah. I've got the same tattoos just in, on the off chance that I ever do an Adam Levine parody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, got to be prepared. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, do you have any like one that you're kind of like you know like you know like kind of eyeballing? Because I don't really listen to music anymore. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> do they still make music? <laughs> <laughs> Not since like 1998, like, to me at least. <laughs> yeah. no, this is like Neutral Milk Hotel or something stupid yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. I, I get random ideas every now and then, but I, I haven't I haven't been super uh, super inspired. But one of these days, I'll right? Yeah. Like yeah, like. It's, this music is not inspiring, is it? <laughs> well, I didn't say that. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you implied it. <laughs> you're being very kind. Yeah. Uh, so there's nothing. There's nothing that you're like, you know. Nothing that I'm currently working on that I can tell you about. Got you. Oh, that you can tell me about. That sounds better. Yes, there you go. <laughs> yes. It's like, no, I'm just not working. <laughs> it's a better way of just like, ah, I'm, I'm at home playing Toe Jam and Earl all day. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> And what if I were? <laughs> uh, um, we should probably wrap things up because I'm looking at the clock up there. Oh. Will you see that? So yep. you, put, you got glasses. Even without my glasses, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we should wrap up and everything like that. Um, but actually, it's been, a, it's been a ball and a biscuit, my friend. It's been very nice, man. Yeah, it's been nice really, really nice. Hey, everybody, oh, thank, you, thank you so much thank for coming. Give it up for Weird Al. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys enjoyed the cooties, Weird Al, and the whole works. So uh, thank you very much, guys. You know, get out of my house. Get out of here. It's eight, four, five, easy, e, hoax. It might sound dumb, but it's not a joke. It's eight, four, five, easy, e, hoax. The voice man. I had to leave a message while ago, but I got nervous. I got the stage fright, and my guinea pigs were squilling, and my kitty cats were meowing, and so I had to go in the laundry room and, and ignore them, because they're still squilling and meowing, but I have to finish this. I'm telling you, man, the, the creaky bandits would be cool. It would be a... All right, you little bunny-haired freak. Listen what happens when you step into the squared circle against Lance Moonrider. I'm going to roll you up with a one, two, three of the big victory. I might give you the big boot on the way out. So listen here, what are you going to do, brother, when Lance Moonrider comes for you? The creaky bandits, because they're trying to get the kids and everything, and they're trying to get in the house and steal all the stuff and burglarize things, but they can't quite get it because they're creaking along, and they got to take the medicine for their knees, for their knees to work as the creaky bandits. <laughs> I have nothing to say, but I love you. You're awesome. Take care. <laughs> I'm telling you, it would be a really good hit. My sister and me thought of it. <laughs> it was over. Hey, man, I was wondering if you have uh, the winning lottery numbers. I, I'm trying to start my company where I'm making alcoholic mayonnaise. If, if, you, know the, if you know the numbers, it, it, it would help a lot. Hey, and we were having a party, <laughs> and the creaky bandits, I'm telling you. I get credit, though. <laughs> Bye. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. You are freaking lumberjack!